There were students from our previous year that got on to do graphics here and they raved about it and said it was really good. So I thought it was a natural progression from art to go to sort of graphics because that's more my, my style anyway. I'm not very fine arty, so. It's amazing because graphics is everywhere and then Archie was just sort of like, oh, why don't you look at graphics? And I looked into it and I just thought it was really interesting. It was like perfect for me, like as well as fine art. I never thought I'd be that interested in typography. Um, at first it just looked like, you know, something I didn't really need to think about. But actually it's quite a big part of graphics and it's really interesting and fun to create your own. I've never really done any sort of computer work before, so using like Photoshop and Illustrator and stuff like that, so that was very new for me and that's something that I've managed to sort of get my head around a little bit, so that's something that sort of surprised me because I've never worked like that before. Definitely a lot of skills. There's a lot more than sort of what meets the eye, I suppose, because when you sort of look at graphics, you're like, oh, you know, cool drawing or this, but there's so much that goes into it and there's so much you can actually do and experiment with. Personally, I like doing, I'm like more hands-on. I like doing stuff like that, but I feel like it does open a lot more doors for you to be more creative and change change up your ideas and develop them more. At school, I liked art, but I didn't like fine art. Um, I don't think drawing was my strength, and that's what we focused on mainly. But I knew that I did enjoy being creative, and I enjoyed certain aspects that we did at school, such as creating art from wire. So I, that was a different route to drawing. And I found the course here, and I like technology and this gave me a chance to develop some of those skills on the computer. Last year's project, I can't, I can't remember my starting point. I think it was, it was identity or something like that and uh, I took quite an abstract, I think, approach to it and delivered a message which I think I quite liked and went about in an odd way. You can start something aiming for one thing and end up with something completely different or purely if you're working analogue and sometimes digital, although less so, uh, you can just end up with mistakes happening and those mistakes can be good. Um, I put it in a little sardine box, um, which sounds really strange, but it was fun to think of and fun to design. A massive thing for me, like, is the tutor as well. And I feel like, you know, you've got to be able to be on a level with your tutor and you give a lot of help to us, especially if we're, you know, struggling or come to a dead end, like, you always give. 100% of your time and, and effort as well, which is which is really good. So it's that's that's why I, I would recommend it because you, you you're helped and you're supported throughout, and it's just a, a great subject. I'm hoping to do a program um, and go to Peru and teach English. I'd ideally like to do either graphics or illustration 
or a combination of the, of both. It just kind of seems like the natural thing to do. That's why I chose graphics and photography as well, because when I progress after after college, I want to do something with music, whether that be in a band or whether that be designing for a band or being a photographer on tour for a band. They all sort of merge together really nicely. I'm very interested in going down a graphics route. I'm hopefully going to go to uni and do visual communication.